According to a hymn writer, when life fades away like the stars of the morning, we will only be remembered by what we have done. Per Titus, Amona Ye Major B will not only be remembered for the gift of a long life, but the monumental achievements that he left behind in a journey that lasted for 99 years. At the Trinity Anglican Church, Ikoi Ijumuluku Government Area of Kogi State, loved ones, including royal fathers, converged to celebrate the patriarch and founder of Anglican Primary School, Ole. It was a glorious celebration, with many recalling the memorable times shared with the deceased. It's somebody of historical significance and relevance to the development. Because through him, we had the first primary school and he happened to be the first teacher and headmaster. He worked in the forestry as a forest guard. He worked also in the sawmill when the sawmill was established. Again, he got married in Lole and had many children. He's very useful, very humble, very accessible, and of course, he's somebody you cannot afford to ignore because he has a winsome ability and he can attract people to himself. And he has a reservoir of knowledge that he's able to give to people both old and young. And because of his singular significance and presence in Ole, Ikoyi and Ole now become twin brothers. Because through him we got the light of school, through him we got the light of Christianity, through him the sawmill worked and prospered, through him the forestry became something of relevance economically and in terms of tourism. He is a planter. He beat people. He even beat village. And I pray that where he is, he's to rest in peace. He was the one that gave me the money that I used to pay for my common entrance in the year 1976. And of course, without him, I wouldn't have been where I am today. So to me, he's a community developer, he's an educationist, and of course, he's a grassrooter. Because as at that time, he was staying in Ole, not living in Kaba, coming to work in Ole. No, he was residing in Ole, making sure that his impact are felt among his people. Choir ministrations and words of exhortations on eternal life we are major features of the outing and thanksgiving service. Born in 1921 at Udu Ikui in Ijumu local government area, he obtained his Standard C Certificate of Education in 1948. In 1951, he joined the forestry work before venturing into other feats of endeavors later in life. A community leader, he worked towards the electrification of his community in Kaba, among other developmental strides. Very loving, very caring. Uh, you know, he's very passionate about his children. Uh, he had the best intentions for his children. And, uh, you know, he did all he could to make sure that uh, his children succeed in whatever they do. And he never held back in terms of helping the children, not only to grow up in a, in a, good, uh, in a good way, but also to achieve whatever is their goal in life. Yeah. I did not know it would be the last time I will see him face to face. And I ask, Baba, Badura Fawamoyi, my dad said, my Badura Funyi, Meta, I prayed for everybody that comes around me. Ikini, Kolor Nko, Tonyi, Sono. And that is what I pray for everybody. And Tolor Nko, Tonyi, Sono, you will be an overcomer. The second one, Kolor Nko, Funyi, Onje, Ojoyi, 
before you get your own job, you will work hard. He said with hard work, you will not lack anything. And God is always a provider. And the last prayer he said, he said, Kiku, Ekiaison, Koma Sowa Mole Deku, that that is the prayer. And that is his prayer for himself. And I'm glad it happened as he prayed. He said, if it comes, do not cry when you hear that. Just say hallelujah. And that, was, that is what came out from my mind. I say hallelujah. My dad died at 99. Well, what more can I ask than to praise God for his life, for the imparted life he made in the world? My father is a giver. My father is a protector. My father is a defender. My father is a God-loving person, open-minded, and he taught us to forgive. He said, anger eats your soul. Forgiveness gives you peace. When you forgive, you will be free. The freedom is not for the person you forgive, but the freedom is for you. He taught me that, and I'm grateful. He honors me a high sense of responsibility. Very humorous, very accommodating, and he loves people around him. And always he will take care of everyone, everybody that surrounds him. He's an incredible, accreditable human being. I will miss him, but we know that he's resting in the bosom of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we thank God for the long life and the legacy he left behind too. <laughs> he was a dynamic man. He was a divorce. He was never. Uh, he was never. Uh, he was always a giant. He was never a mediocre. Away from the church, the celebration continued in grand style at a reception that had enough of music, dance, food, and drink. <laughs> For the children, the morning days are over. 
time to be thankful to God for his good life and also build on his legacy. The program cascaded into another Thanksgiving service at the Baptist Church in Kaba, where Pat Titus worshipped faithfully until his death in 2020. <laughs> For two you children today, I came to know what Baba is. Because you are celebrating Baba's legacy. You are celebrating Baba's value. and trustworthy person. He doesn't want you to cheat somebody. It was another moment for his children and relations to express gratitude to God for his life and impacts. <laughs> Pat Titus Major B. No Doubt came, saw, and wrote his name on the sand of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 